Radio steam it. Uh, oh man, today is draining me. Right, as you can see, we've lifted it up in the air. I've put the jacks underneath the gearbox. One on the side where the reverse cogs are, because that's where a lot of the weight is. And then one on the back where a lot of the weight is, where the other gearing is. Um, all I'm doing is, now I've got the jacks in place, all I'm, all I'm having to do is just raise it up bit by bit sorry about the sunlight there but yeah just just raise it up nice and evenly uh, what was actually stopping it was the casting of the reverse gear housing there was just a bolt casting that was catching on this underside here as soon as that passed it was fine you've got to watch out for this engine mounting and keep that pulled to the side uh, other than that it's going up nice and straight now so I'm going to take you back up the top um, and hopefully we're going to get this fitted in in the next well I've got about four minutes on the video left on the memory so there you go, there's my time limit. Four minutes to fit a gearbox, steam it. Can we do it? Or can I do it? Let's see, that's got me to the test, eh? We've got three and a half minutes left. That's if this don't cut out. Right, okay. So as you can see, we're a bit further along. And we're closer than we was. Righty on. Try and so I'm just trying to find you a, a decent camera position where you can actually see what's happening. I've still got my strap on the go. Oh, do you know what? Today, there you go. Right, finally found somewhere that's all right. Right, okay. As you can see, that's the starter motor hole, and there's the starter motor casting on here. So that bit. Has basically got to be raised up to that bit so i'm going to go underneath and keep jacking it up until it's ready to sit in um also while it's while i've been raising it up i managed to get the drive shaft in it, you do have to fit it in at an angle um it's a little bit of a struggle but you have to fit it in halfway through um give the gearbox a jiggle it does go in if you're struggling uh, make sure your gears are in neutral because then it allows the gears to spin and it allows to, for the splines to uh accept each other and go in right before this video runs out because i've now got what we've we got two and a half minutes exactly to uh, to get this gearbox in for you let's see what we can do you will see your teeth rising hey -ho. i'm just taking it up on both jacks a little bit at a time and then and i'll show you a trick whereas you get to a point and you just have to place the screwdriver. When we did this at the start, you remember the screwdrivers were placed in the holes? Well, we're going to do that again in reverse. And then that will guide us back in. So, I'm not quite high enough yet because I've got to get. Where's going to go where? Da -da 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 -da. That hole there, if you can see it. That one there. Oh, there you go. This one here is the bolt hole. Let me see. Where have we got to go? That one there has got to get up to there. So I'm a little bit to the right and I need to go up a little bit. Okay. And I've got one and a half minutes left. We can do this. As it said at the start of the first one, you can do this. Can. I'm going to raise this up off the floor. Okay, going up quite high now. Yep. Right, we're going to get going to be getting to the point now where the drive shaft, the spigot shaft inside the gearbox, is going to start entering the clutch. And as soon as that happens, the actual spigot shaft will take some of the weight. You shouldn't leave all the weight on it at all but it will help guide it in. Um, there we go. Right, as you can see, well, we're almost there now. Right, okay. I'm just gonna move you around a moment. These battery leads stay in. Don't ruin this whole video. Okay, carefully move you around here. Sit you in there. So you can see there. Right, perfect. Right, I can lean over here now. 